The final perception shift we want you to internalize is this idea of failure being a good thing. Everything, everyone thinks failure, 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 it's bad, right? It's always associated with like, you get an F on a paper with a circle and it's red and you go, you're a bad student. But in a lot of ways in life, failure is a good thing. So in the tech industry, they have this mentality called fail fast. And I think um, Facebook actually uh, implemented this, at least they were the early adopters of this, but one of their company values is something along the lines of work fast and break things. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's, it's that concept of being able to do something really quickly and just fail at it. Because when you fail at it, you learn, you innovate, and then you fail again, you innovate, you fail again, you innovate, you fail again, and then eventually it turns into something really, really awesome. And it's the same exact thing with pickup. You have to keep failing over and over and over until you actually get to a point where you get really, really good. Now, when we say failing, I'm not saying you're gonna get slapped in the face. That doesn't happen. That's just from the movies. That's not real. When we say failing, we just mean you get rejected by a girl and that's it. A lot of times it's just her saying like, oh, I have a boyfriend or sorry, I'm in a rush. I'm not looking for a relationship. And it's no are, big deal. Yeah, and guys are just so scared of that for some reason. But that has to happen and you, you, you just, it's, it's, it's normal. For me, whenever a girl says that to me, I see it as me, you know, dropping my keys before I lock the door. It's like, oh, that happened. Pick Gotta it pick up. it up. Yep. So more importantly, rejection is not a bad thing. It's hilarious. I've reframed it so much in my mind. When I first started, rejection was like the worst thing in the world. I was afraid of it. I didn't want to experience it because it gave me negative emotions, but now, it's something that I actually look forward to and it puts me in a better state of mind because I, I just think it's funny. And the point of that is, is the overall mentality of having fun. Whenever you do anything in life, regardless of if it's pickup, if it's cooking, if it's playing a sport, you have to have fun. And the only way you have to have fun is you turn negative situations into something that you can have fun with. So I know a lot of times we would actually go up to girls and, and purposely get rejected because we just think it's funny. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, there's nothing that brings me greater joy than going up to a girl and purposely getting rejected. Now, I'm not saying that you should do this all the time and this is how you should get girls. I'm saying in order to desensitize yourself to the fact that rejection isn't a big deal, just go out there and purposely get rejected. You'll be very surprised by what happens. A lot of times when I go out there and I try to purposely get rejected, I will actually end up succeeding because I'm in that don't give a fuck mindset and I'm expecting to kind of like lose, I guess. And it ends up working because I'm so not committed to the interaction. So for example, there's a video in the God Mode Pack where I pick up a girl in the library and when you think about a library, you're not thinking this is a place where you would pick up women because everyone's really quiet and it's kind of awkward. But to me, I think that's, that's amazing. If I get rejected in the library, there's nothing funnier. So again, in the library video, I do get rejected right away, but I don't let that stop me. I take that as like a funny experience and I move on to the next girl. Now the next girl goes extremely well. I get her number and we go on a date, but that date would have never happened if I didn't get rejected that first time. Now along those lines, you want to put yourself in those types of situations. You want to put yourself in hard situations so that you can keep evolving. A lot of guys, they just go to you know the street or the club only, or they have their place where it feels safe to them and they go there all the time. But you have to be able to put yourself in these different places and different situations so that you can build your confidence that way. Now in Project Go and the God Mode Pack, you're going to see us talk to girls in many, many different situations. We pick up girls who are on public transportation, like the train. We talk to girls who are just sitting there eating their lunch by themselves. We talk to girls who are working at a store. We even talk to girls at the gym. So again, don't be afraid to put yourself in these situations and grow from it. Um, and also don't be afraid to fail at it. You're going to see us in the second chapter of Project Go fail a bunch of times and you're going to see how we handle it and you're going to realize that rejection is not a big deal at all.